Let's talk about integrating Big Picture with Jira. Some customers come to us and they think that Big Picture is a standalone tool. It is not. It works in the Atlassian ecosystem. It has to be connected to Jira to work properly. Otherwise, it's just simply not available. It doesn't exist outside of the Atlassian ecosystem. Therefore, it's important to understand how Big Picture is connected to Jira and what kind of integration steps have to be taken to make the, both of the tools work successfully together. This is exactly what I'm going to be covering in this video, which is, by the way, part of our effort to deliver high quality training and learning materials in the Atlassian ecosystem. If you want to support this, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and of course, you can also post a comment if you have any questions regarding this topic, which we may or may not answer. We also offer uh, professional services in this area, so if you're interested in pursuing the perfect configuration implementation of Big Picture in your instance, you want to get rid of all the headaches regarding uh, going through this by yourself and you want some people that are working day to day with the tool and know the ins and outs of it, then reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you out. Now, let's talk about the integration between Big Picture and Jira. So the screen that you're looking at, I left this here on purpose. This is the one that many of our customers visit daily, right? This is the Gantt module inside one of the Big Picture's boxes. And this is where a lot of work is going to be happening. And because everything that we can see here on the screen, the list of issues, their placement in time on a Gantt chart, they all are coming from Jira. Therefore, the big picture connection to Jira is super important because the Jira is the source of data, right? So we need to take care of this connection so that it works smoothly and perfectly. Um, why is it important? Well, if I open this issue and take a look at it um, from the Jira-like perspective, right? So this is the Jira basic uh, issue view screen that is loading over here. And I'll switch for a moment back to big picture because I want you to take a look at this uh, this issue. I will scroll a little bit to the right to search for the status of this issue, right? So we can see that the status of this issue is saying backlog. And I'm going to go again to the issue view screen from the Jira perspective, and I'm going to change the status of this issue to in progress and switch back to the same screen that we've been looking at before. Now, I'm not going to refresh anything, and you can see that the status changed by itself because the data that we are looking at over here, again, are coming from Jira, and Big Picture is synchronizing with Jira all the time, right? Um, now, so, so this is one part of the integration that you want to have. The second part of the integration that is also very important is mapping some of the things that exist on the Big Picture side to the Jira data. So what are the things I'm talking about? Well, for example, uh, the information regarding the dependencies connecting the issues, right? So we can see some dependencies over here, and we would love to have this information on the Jira side, right? Um, we may be able to, or, or we may be assigning those issues to teams, for example. We may want to see this information on the Jira side as well. We may convert one of the issues, I probably don't have one over here, but we, we, we may convert some of the issues over here to milestones. We want to have this information in Jira, and so on and so on. So there are several things that, um, on the big picture side, they work smoothly and without any problems, but maybe you want to do some advanced reporting on the, on the Jira side, and you want to have this information from the Jira perspective as well. Or simply, you want to enhance the visibility and you have this information available to everyone, not just the people who visit big picture. Again, a very good, um, very good reason to have it configured properly. So let me take you for a moment to the app settings where we are going to discover some things that are very important uh, to everything that I've just discussed. Uh, I'm not going to explain everything from the beginning to an end, but I'm just going to give you some pointers regarding some of the things that are available over here. The first part, uh, the general app configuration and fields, this is the part where the field mapping happens, right? And this is the whole array of fields that we want to have synchronized. This is our test instance, so we are syncing things here forth and back, so not everything is perfectly synced, but you can see, for example, that the start dates, end dates, baseline start and end dates uh, are synced with uh, proper custom fields on, on the Jira side. Uh, we are syncing team code with labels. Is it a good approach? Is it a bad approach? 
discussable. We cover this during our trainings. Milestone field, you can see that it is not synchronized. It could be, right? So maybe it's worth doing. Uh, we're also not synchronizing story points. Again, this is possible. Um, we are synchronizing those skills, for example, uh, with the labels again, discussable, whether it's uh, the best approach. We are not synchronizing costs and we are synchronizing the progress, which, by the way, gives you several fields that you want to synchronize with, which also can be important. And depending on which field you choose, you might have a different behavior, for example, on the Gantt chart. So this table is very important to have uh, configured properly. So that's definitely step one. Um, going, moving forward, the dependencies tab over here does the similar thing, but for the links, right? So this configuration um, is uh, basically saying what is going to represent the connections on the big picture side um, with Jira links on the, on the Jira side, right? So the Jira links, you can see that are on the right side and the connections that are being used by big picture are on the left side. And again, the way this is configured is not maybe the perfect one, but this is what we have on this training instance. Um, you might configure it differently, but it's definitely worth taking a look into this section to make sure that it's configured the way you want it to be. Um, the next one I'm going to visit is the live sync. So this one is pretty straightforward. Generally, I would recommend have everything over here enabled, right? Because why not? Uh, and if you disable this one, for example, then the synchronization that I showed you earlier in this video is not going to happen, right? So that's why you want to have everything here enabled so that whenever new data appears on the Jira side, the same issues visible in Big Picture will get updated. Why wouldn't you want that? I mean, performance issues, sure, something definitely to consider. But if you like enable this and you don't see any drop in performance, just keep it like this. If you're using Jira Cloud, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, where do I want to go next? <clears throat> this area, modules, yes, I want to visit this one because uh, this one defines the interval period be be between recalculating the um, aggregation of the boxes and sub-boxes, uh, which is important just for one type of the, of the box, so it's not super crucial, but it's worth making sure that this is set to some sensible value, and I think that the recommended 60 seconds is exactly the, the thing you want to have. Out archiving is something entirely different, so I'm not going to get into this. Uh, the configuration of risks and uh, labels and fields. Uh, so this is another set of fields similar to the one we saw in a, in a general tab. And then uh, the, for the resources, you also get uh, some settings, but these are actually not connected with the integration. So I'm just going to leave from here. Now the integration tab, the one you might be thinking, okay, this is where the core of the uh, settings regarding the big picture Jira integration happens. This is where I have to go to. Not really, because this place allows you to connect multiple instances of Jira uh, to uh, this big picture instance, right? And it's very rarely used because most of the companies do not work with multiple instances of Jira, but for those that do, this is where this uh, integration happens. And then you simply add a new connection, choose uh, Jira Cloud or Trello, and uh, provide all the access information so that another instance can be connected. I'm not going to go into the details of this. Um, last thing, last thing I'm going to really visit, although I could go into Tempo as well, but it's, we are talking about big picture, not Tempo. Last thing I want to visit are widgets, because widgets are important. Widgets are important because, first of all, they carry some information. And for some of you, these, this information might be super crucial. For some of you, it might not. But one way or another, the visibility of uh, widgets on the Jira side, because this is what you're controlling basically over here, and there are three of them, the WBS, Skill, and Big Picture Widget, the visibility of them slows down the performance of screens that involve those widgets, so screens where those widgets appear. And maybe the last one is not so crucial, but the first one and the second one, they do appear on all uh, of the issue view screens where you enable the, the widget, right? So um, our experience is that basically loading this widget takes another 
two, maybe three seconds of loading time of those screens. So it's worth figuring out what are the settings that you want to apply over here so that you are not overburdening the people that actually don't want to see those widgets. Because they will be, as I said, important for some, not important for others. So try to figure out what are the settings over here to control the visibility so that they are only shown when and where they are needed, right? Of course, when we are helping our customers go through the implementation process of Big Picture, we are going through those settings and helping the customer understand first what they do, so what are the choices, and then figure out what's going to be best for their, uh, for their case. And this is part of our implementation package. If you would like to learn more about this, reach out to us. The address is over here. You can just drop us an email or you will find also more information and links in the description of this video. Hopefully, this has been helpful and this opened your eyes uh, in the topic of integration between Big Picture and Jira. As you can see, it's pretty seamless, but at the same time, even though it works without any settings out of the box, it's really worth taking time and understanding what features are responsible for what behavior of Big Picture slash Jira, so that all of the configuration over here is set in a way that actually helps uh, the, the work that is happening and not slows it down or you know makes people believe that now they have to wait longer and do more clicks to achieve the same things they were able to do in the previous tool. Hopefully this is not going to be the case for you, but if you will have any problems with this, let us know and we will do our best to help. Thanks for watching this video. I'll be seeing you in the next one.